Hey there, it's Ashley with Create Full Art. I am traveling and painting in all 50 US states. Today I am in Michigan. Michigan is called the Great Lakes State and there are a lot of lighthouses here. So behind me we have Sturgeon Point Lighthouse. It's a beautiful lighthouse and I'm going to show you how to paint it today. Let's get started. For the first step you're going to sketch out your composition and I'm using a watercolor pencil. And those who are Create Art members, there is a link in the description. You can go over to Patreon and there will be a reference photo for you. So makes it easy. A great way to show that you enjoy what I do on YouTube is by becoming a Create Art member. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this with my watercolor pencil. I'm using brilliant blue and white for my sky and then come in here and lay down my color with my brush. Today I'm only using a one inch brush. So while I'm doing my sky, I'm just making sure that down here is a lot more white and as it goes higher that there's a darker blue. Okay, bring in your color beyond the edges of your sketch. That way you don't have any white canvas. For this next step, I'm going to be adding in the trees that are back here. I'm going to be using a small flat top brush. And I'm going to add in the tree trunks first with a bronze color. And black. When there's a lot of tree branches, I just kind of lighten my color and it look very choppy in the back. Just be very random with it. You don't have to do every little branch connecting. It'll look really fake that way. Right back here, it's basically all dark forest. So I'm just gonna add in some dark and then I'll add the light on top. This will give the contrast I need between the building and the background. And then as it goes up, there's going to be trees and stuff, so I don't even worry about what that's going to be yet. And I'm going to get to this lighthouse. So there's going to be a lot of white in this lighthouse but it's not just white even though the lighthouse is white but we're going to have blue in it and gray okay, i'm making it look like there's bricks with my brush strokes just the appearance doesn't have to be bricked all the way A little gold right there. I'll just do this roof right here. My flat brush is gonna take it at an angle. And it comes down like that. This one connects, it's just basically a line, so I use the side of my brush. That one, though, is up further, so I'll just take my thing here and make this come down a little further. Some bronze right in here for the shadow. Ooh, that was not bronze. Okay, so the roof's got specks for the shingles. So that's what I'm just going to do. Just kind of make brush strokes that make specks. Grab different colors. Add it in there. Add the dark. Add the bronze. Add white. I'm 
do this line down here. this I'm going to add a little bit of green because I'm just seeing what I see and there's a little green in that color and use it to make it look like there's bricks and some gold and white The colors on top, this is what's going to make it look white. I'm going to come in with my fatter brush and I'm going to put the white down on my lighthouse. done with the lighthouse but I'm gonna put in the grass just because it's really bothering me. I want to have all the paint down right now. So I'm just gonna take my green, the layer down, it just kind of helps me visualize things. I'm using some cadmium yellow with my green here. Gonna mix it right here on the canvas. Okay, and then really quick here, I'm gonna get in this greenery. Also with some of the yellow. And it goes up to about right here on the side. Yeah, I'm just painting in the trees right now. So that I kind of know the edges of my lighthouse here and kind of gauge colors a little bit better and everything. Make sure that you give it different shades of greens, yellows. I even add purple in here, sometimes even red to give it some depth, shadows and all sorts of things. Just looks more realistic that way.
Now I'm going to come back over to my lighthouse and add in some more details. I'm gonna start from the top. So I'm trying to get in some of these details since we're so close to this lighthouse. I think it needs to have a little more detail. And so I'm just kind of looking at what I see here and putting it in, but I'm trying not to get too um, perfectionist here. Just get it in there, get the basic shape. So with lighthouses, there's always shadow, and now we have different, completely different lights. So, um, but I do remember that there was more shadow right here, and on the other side, and the light was coming from this direction, that direction. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some blue and some gray, coming down, and I'm going across, kind of give that brick look. Okay, through here, there's a lot, because it's shadowed by that. If you look at the lighthouse, the bricks are a lot more worn through here. So I'm just gonna put a little more pigment, dark color, on my brush and just kind of dry brushing it on. Let's get these windows in. So I'm just taking my flat brush, some red, and just very carefully going down to the bottom, and then coming up, and then how thick it is, do the same thing. This one you just have to think about the shadows a lot. So it comes across like this, and there's basically a black line right through here. Pull it this direction. And there's a lighter line next to it, so I'm just gonna blacken this. Box it in, okay, and then the bottom. So you have a little ridge there. And I always just go over the top with white. There's another window, which I don't know why I put it over there, but it's over here. So I'll just go back over there. And kind of gauge to where it's at. Or and right here mm. and then box it in so the final step is to fix anything that you think needs to be fixed in the painting and to make it yours be creative thank you so much for creating with me a special thank you to my grateful art members listed here who helped make this video possible you too can become a grateful art member if you love these videos it helps me make them and you get special bonuses also. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.